When you purchase your DVS backup, you will receive an email confirmation and a link to download the DVS backup software. After you download the software, the prerequisites wizard will check your computer system to make sure all the required Microsoft applications are on your system. The wizard will show you if any required software is missing and automatically download it. Please note, if you need to download the Microsoft Update .NET 2 and .NET 3, this may take some time, as they are large programs, so have a cup of coffee and don't panic. When the download finishes, click Next. This will take you to the Setup Wizard. Click Next to continue. Read and accept the DVS Soft License Agreement, then click Next. The wizard will automatically choose the install path for the DVS backup software. If you want to change the install location, you can use the browse utility to do this. Click Next to continue the installation. We are ready to install the software. Click Install to start the process and the wizard will start the installation. Click Finish to complete the installation. DVS Backup will be added to your program list. A DVS icon will appear on your desktop and the DVS Backup application will launch the Setup Wizard. Click Run Wizard to start the process. Enter the email address and password you entered on the registration page and click Validate to register your account. Once the account has been validated, a status window will display your account information. The account name, storage capacity purchased, account due date and computers. This shows the number of computers allowed on this account. Enter your name in the box and click Next to continue. Enter a valid email address for the backup notifications to be sent to. This can be the same email address you used for your username or a different email address if you are an additional family backup account user. Click Next to proceed. The backup catalogue allows you to select the files and folders you want to backup or you can use the quick links to select the popular sections. When you have completed your selection, click Next to continue. The scheduler allows you to define when your backup will run, allowing you to choose if it will be every day, selected days, what time backup will start and what date the backup schedule will begin. When you have completed the schedule, click Next to continue. Magic folders are a means to make information you select accessible over the web and this is where you set the web address and activate the folders. If you don't wish to do this now, you can return to the wizard at a later date. To activate the folders, enter a folder name in the space provided. If this name is already in use, you will be prompted to change it. Once you have chosen your name and clicked set this name, this will be your web address and cannot be changed. If you chose the name Golden, then your web address would be https colon forward slash forward slash magic dot dvs backup dot com forward slash golden. And this would be the web address for your magic folders. To activate your private magic folder, click the blue X. To access this folder on the web, you need to use your username and password. The Friends Magic folder is activated by clicking on the blue X. Enter a password in the Friends Password field and data in this folder can be accessed by people you select. Enter the Friends email address in the email field and click Invite.
the friend will now receive an email giving full details of how to access the friends folder on the web, including the password you have set. The public magic folder is also activated by selecting the blue X. But the data in this folder is accessible on the internet, just using the magic folder web address. Click Next to continue. The Time Vault allows you to have important information backed up in real time. Just select a folder inside My Documents to act as the Time Vault. And any files in this folder will be backed up in real time as they are altered. Remember, only files inside the Time Vault will be backed up in real time, not subfolders and associated files. Click Next to continue. If you want to customise your backup application, you can change the colour here. Click Next to complete your setup. The confirmation window will now upload your settings to the DVS backup servers. And once it is uploaded, a confirmation window will show when your next backup will take place. Click Next to finish. You have now completed the setup to enable DVS Backup to automatically backup your data.